TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy May Edition with your host, Pablo Gunner, the Ambassador. And we are here to talk nerdy to you about Blood of Zeus Season 2 on Netflix. If you're new here, for our grade scale, for most of our stuff, because most stuff is streaming, it's going to be a must-see, must-stream. Then it's just going to be check it out as the mid-grade, and then the low-grade is going to be pass. Now, if you can't stream it, then it's going to be probably a buy, and then rent, if there's a rent or some form of that, since there's we don't really, you know, you could try it, I guess, you know, like, which is pretty much Game Pass-type services, right? Or Gamefly. Yeah, 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 you could do that. I did watch Blood of Zeus... Season two on Netflix with the wife and um, ha- have you seen it? No. So I love when anime does their own spin on not just Japanese stuff, right? Like they go, oh, we're gonna do our own spin on Greek, you know, Olympus and that stuff. And so this one focuses on Heron, especially like the the first season. The second season focuses heavily on. Hades and um who's his wife I always forget um but yeah anyways Hades and his wife that's who it focuses on Persephone Persephone yes so she's the one that controls the not the seasons but I think she's the one that like does like the harvest and stuff I think she's the goddess of spring yeah yeah so because the mother is the one that's the seasons yeah so yeah she does like she grows flowers and all that stuff but anyways so that's what it focuses on them and how he wants to get be rid of he's tired of being in Hades because he does can't be with his wife. And so he's doing a lot of questionable stuff and it's 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 really good, dude. It's 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 crazy because the thing about anime that bugs me is when you watch it, there's such a huge time gap, right? From the previous season that you saw, and because of that you forget. And this one helps you remember. And also kind of goes like, you don't entirely need it. Like, this season does a good job of going like, whatever you need from the previous season, we're going to fill you in on. So you can just jump into this season if you want to, pretty much. Or like, you don't have to rewatch the first season. I feel like you'll probably be better off if you rewatch it, but I didn't have to. And so it ended up being a phenomenal season. Some people have said that this is on par or better than X-Men 97. And I say, no way. No way. But I close, sure. Okay, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you that. It, it can come close, sure. That being said, it's a must-see. It's a must-see. It's a must-stream. Thank you for watching and checking us out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you. Uh, check out our merch. I'm wearing the Doctor Who uh, lettering with the Doctor Who TARDIS. We have other Doctor Who stuff. Um, this is actually was a prototype, so I've actually dragged it down so it's it's not so high up. So now the lettering is like more like right here, and then the the TARDIS is going to be right here. But um, and then I'm wearing rocking my Asul Beetle all print, um, not leggings. What do they call them? Joggers. Uh, which I, the all print is always the w- way to go. I, they're probably not on the site though because we only have a hundred items. But if you want it, we can hook you up. We can get them for you, and you're sporting. Uh, the periodically nerdy shirt which is just it's nerdy periodically yeah. obviously it's hilarious and brilliant which is so fitting for the ambassador <laughs> so yeah you know what let's do some shout outs too i got some shout outs for the peeps for that always at the top of the list we have atticus atticus uh and then we have um uh, which is he's a youtuber and he's just raw and 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 real and he's a teacher out in vietnam and but he also just does slice of life stuff that's that's really interesting really great you know what it's like to have relationships with friends you know people of the um romantic relationships even people of the opposite gender of your own or whatever and uh and and it's so cool i love just seeing it because it like the land is just beautiful like it's it's so cool to see uh mk jekyll and hyde is another one that is great. Uh, they do comics, like online comics, and they're great. And every it seems like every post they make is so inspirational. So I love their stuff. Uh, film Rage, those guys are hilarious. They cover all films. Doesn't matter. They will cover all of them because they, like us, will waste their time. So you don't have to. 
and uh, Amerime Media, which kind of sounds like what it is, which is anime, media, um, and a little Americana, I guess. I don't know. Um, so, yeah. And then uh, Superpower List, those guys are awesome, hardcore comic book nerds. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth.